Hi everybody, welcome back to the kitchen. Today we have the Crandy Heavy Duty Professional Blender Mixer. This is my lovely wife, Jennifer. Hello. And what are we making today? Pina colada. Pina colada. Oh, that's a delicious treat for a, a hot day. It was a hot one today. <laughs> Jennifer, have you ever seen a blender like this in your life? This looks like what they use at Starbucks. Starbucks or any other restaurant establishment, but not in our house. This is, I'm excited. One thing that makes this different than our run of the mill kitchen blender is this noise dampening cover. And it just, it's so satisfying opening and closing that too. It's not magnetic, but it almost feels that way. And it has a nice rubber seal around the entire perimeter. Inside the cover, we have a 52 ounce pitcher. It's all plastic construction and it seems very solid to me. The first thing they tell you to do is to clean the equipment before using it. And when I did that, what happened? Soap explosion. Yes, it was a disaster. And, but they, the thing is, is they tell you to clean it, but they don't tell you, they don't give, go into great detail on, on how to do that or what exactly to do. So what I did, if you look at the picture, it gives you a max fluid line. And so that's what I did. I put the, the water into that level and I added a few drops of dishwashing soap and I turned it on and it just, apparently when you do that, the soap bubbles expand and it was a disaster. It was everywhere, all over the place. So. I don't even know what I would recommend because I, I didn't, I haven't done it successfully yet. The next time I did, I just put plain water in there and rinsed it out. So, um, back in the day when I, you know, was a bartender and we had to clean our pitchers, we mm -hmm. just ran them through the dishwasher. Well, it says or, not to put this in the dishwasher. Or just wash it by hand. Okay. Well, I, guess, I suppose you could do in that, the but they're trying to make it easy. <laughs> that requires some more experimentation. You could just do it the way your wife suggests. <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on. The mixer comes with three things. You get a quick start guide, a user manual, and a recipe book. The recipe book is full of things that uh, sound at least interesting. One thing that I did try yesterday was the fruit ice cream. And it's, it's very simple. You put in some sugar, vanilla extract, heavy cream, frozen fruit, and that's it. And then you just mix it up. And when I gave you a sample of that yesterday, what did you think? It was delicious. I thought it was delicious too. And I don't know if this really qualifies as ice cream, but I couldn't tell you what would be different about it. It tasted like ice cream to me. Yeah, it was kind of like a soft serve sorbet. Almost. Mm -hmm. But it, to me, it tastes like something you might uh, get at a restaurant. You know, yeah, it was creamy and fruity. Yeah, it was good. It was delicious. I loved it. I will do that again. It's pina colada time. Uh, Jennifer, with your extensive background as a bartender, would you mind mixing the drinks for us? All right. Now, while you're doing that, I just want to go over the touchscreen here. It's actually a sophisticated machine and it's, it might be a little bit intimidating, but all of the instructions are clearly defined. And you do have, I don't, you do have, a, I set up a, a program for this already. You can configure one of four different programs and it's, it, it, it isn't a difficult process. It just, you just have to read the instructions. How are we doing over here? Going well. Got the pina colada mix in and a little bit of rum. One thing they say in the instruction book is to put all the liquid ingredients in first, then your solid ingredients, and lastly, the ice. So will the ice cream be a solid or liquid? Ooh, that's a good point. I will... Why don't uh, we it's add a, that next? Okay, well, that's, that's, that's a great idea. Gotta love a box of ice cream. Mm-hmm. One more for good measure. All right, then our pineapple. 
and then ice. And the, the manual says, make sure that the, the top thing is locked in place. It's always a good advice, I'd say. All right. And I'm hoping since we don't have any soap in here, it won't be a big, big disaster. All right, I'll let you push the button. Well, and hopefully, it, <laughs> <laughs> this is only the third time I've used it. So hope for the best here. Uh, okay. Okay, I woke it up. Now I'm gonna press program number one. I don't even hear the ice. No. It seems like it should be done, right? You would think. I don't know. You can't hear any ice bouncing around in there, so. Yeah, I'm going to turn it off. It seems done to me. Would you do the honors, please? Those are some fancy glasses. Oh, we made too much. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Last but not least, the umbrellas. Well, thank you. There you go. To summer. Summer. Cheers. That is very tasty. Wow. Good job. All right. It's so smooth. No ice chunks. No, it's perfect. So that's the Crandy heavy duty commercial blender mixer. Uh, this is, I love this thing. It, <laughs> it's going to take some time to get to know the entire capabilities of this machine, but uh, I'm willing to spend that time. Obviously, it's a five out of five. Thanks for stopping by. Cheers. Thank you.